Welcome back to Risk and Bytes, the podcast where we translate complex tech into practical guidance for IT and procurement leaders. Today, we're answering an important question. How do you govern and manage AI agent pricing? Because if you don't, cost will spike, value will be unclear, and vendors will control the narrative instead of you. And before we dive in, a quick note. This episode was created with the support of artificial intelligence tools and carefully reviewed and curated by human experts. That way, you get the speed and scale of AI with the assurance of trusted expert oversight. First, let's level set. When we talk about AI agents, we mean digital coworkers powered by large language models. Unlike a basic chatbot, an agent doesn't just answer a single prompt. It can plan and reason, take actions across systems, and even chain multiple tools together to complete a task. Think about an IT service desk agent that not only answers a ticket, but resets a password, checks compliance logs, and updates the record, all without human intervention. That's powerful. But when you start pricing these agents, things get complicated fast. So how are vendors pricing AI agents today? Broadly, we're seeing six models paper use, often by tokens or API calls. For example, OpenAI's GPT-40 charges about $2.50 per million input tokens and $10 per million output tokens. It's flexible for pilots, but unpredictable at scale. A seasonal spike in tickets? Your budget takes the hit. Subscription per agent or bot? UiPath does this with automation bots, charging around $3,000 to $6,000 per bot annually. Predictable, yes, but if adoption is low, you're paying for idle capacity. Per user or seat-based uplift. ServiceNow, for example, charges an additional $10 to $30 per user per month for AI functionality. Easy to align with existing licensing, but beware. You might be paying twice once for the human seat and once for the agent. Per conversation or task. Vendors like Ada or Forethought price between 20 and 50 cents per conversation. Sounds straightforward until you realize a conversation might be defined as every back and forth, not just one customer case. Outcome-based plus subscription. Some vendors like Cognizant with AI Ops Charge a base subscription plus 15 to 25% of documented savings. This ties vendor pay to results, but disputes often arise over what counts as AI-driven savings. Hybrid workflow pricing. AWS Bedrock, for example, charges not only for the underlying model, but also a small fee, about 5 to 25 cents, per workflow step an agent executes. Sounds fair until you realize one complex workflow can trigger dozens of microcharges. Across these models, a few risks stand out for IT and procurement teams. Cost overruns. Usage-based pricing can explode if adoption grows faster than expected. Opaque metrics. Vendors define task or conversation in ways that maximize their revenue. Double charging. You might be billed for seats, for bots, and for tokens, all at once. Lock-in. Proprietary workflows and orchestration layers can trap you. Return on investments confusion. It can be hard to prove whether AI savings are real or just coincidental. So, what should information technology leaders and procurement teams do when negotiating artificial intelligence agent contracts? Here's a quick checklist. First, demand clear unit definitions. Know exactly what counts as a conversation, a task, or a workflow step. Second, set usage caps or negotiate tiered discounts. That's how you avoid runaway spend. Third, tie pricing to performance key performance indicators. Think resolution rates, accuracy, or service level agreement compliance. Fourth, include exit clauses and portability. Never let a vendor hold your data and workflows hostage. And finally, insist on audit rights. Make sure you can verify how charges are calculated. That's your five-point playbook for negotiating artificial intelligence agent contracts. Clear, 
measurable, and controlled. Bottom line, AI agents can deliver real value, but only if you control the pricing levers. Treat contracts like cloud agreements in the early days, demand transparency, protect against lock-in, and keep financial guardrails in place. That's it for today's Risk and Bites. If you're a CIO, IT leader, or procurement manager, stay tuned for more tutorials that keep you a step ahead in the AI-powered enterprise. Thanks for listening, and we'd love to hear your feedback. It helps us make each episode more valuable for you.